Welcome back to Give a Chance to Farm. And today we're out here in the shop. Uh, the girls are wanting to make some Christmas presents. So one of the presents that they want to make is uh, they want to turn a pin for someone. So I'm going to help them. Since the way that this lathe is and the tool rest is so far away from the actual pin mandrel, I'm going to help them. Plus they've never turned a pin before either. So I'm going to help them with the tools. That way it doesn't get snagged and pulled down in there. So. We're going to get started. Taylor's going to go first. See how close we are here. A little bit more to go there. That in there is not bad. That one's not too bad. We're pretty close there. We're just gonna kind of smooth it out, and then we'll start sanding it. It'll be done. So. shape that we need let's see and this is what they'll look like all right yep we'll take just a little bit off of that end down there and a little bit right there and we'll be I can get that with the sandpaper though back up I'll sand it for you okay the shape that we want I always like them tapered towards the bushings and a little bit wider in the centers so that's the shape I'm using for the girls pins also so. the first sandpaper always takes the longest and then after that it's pretty quick these I'm taking it through 150, 240, 320, 400, and 600 grit. And we're using uh, walnut wood blanks today. Uh, 
I cut the blanks down and drilled them and glued them in yesterday. So they've been out here not quite 24 hours, but pretty close. cut the video long enough to vacuum all this up and then we'll bring you back and show you us finishing it okay so now we got the the bench cleaned up uh, the finish I'm choosing for this is the one I pretty much always use on uh, wooden pins and that's my uh, Aussie oil and I'm going to do it as a friction rub. So basically the way we're doing this is make sure we get this all mixed up. Put a little bit on an old t-shirt is what I'm using. And then I just turn it by hand on here. That way everything's coated. And once I have it coated, back up first. Then I use the friction of the lathe so it warms up my finger underneath the t-shirt. So This is what it'll look like. They look very glossy as the light's hitting them. Yep. And I'll make sure. It look. I had a line across there when we had the blanks on there. But it looks like this one here, in my opinion, turned just a little bit. So when I assemble the pin, I'll make. Because this was cut out of one blank. So I'll be able to turn it just a little bit and match the grains up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Which will only be that way when the pen is in the when the uh, ink pen is retracted because what we're putting together is a slimline twist pen so when they twist it to put the pen part of it out to use it it'll turn just a little bit but it'll still look a lot nicer if I line the grain up so um, I'm gonna cut the video I'll do a second coat of this real quick and then we'll come back and I'll show you me taking it off there and uh, Taylor and I'll assemble this pin. Alright, well, we finished up our second coat. Now it's time for our pin assembly. Here's our pin kit we're using. So, so there's the yep. ink cartridge and everything in there. Yep. And then, just in case I need it, I have my clamp, clamp here that clamp sometimes clamp. I use to assemble the pens. Okay. Um, since the girls are helping me on this one, let me see if I can find the instruction sheet just because they haven't been out here with me before.
I know what the order of it goes in, but there's actually a picture on here. It's on the back side here. Diagram of the assembly. Right there. So this is how we're going to do it. Okay, Tay? Is this the inside and that's the outside? So what we're yeah. going to do is we're going to set this stuff up. Okay? Okay. Right. So, to me, this end is a little bit thicker, so we'll make this the clip end of the pin, and that end down okay. here is the writing end, okay? okay? So what we need to do is, this is the cap, okay? okay? So, these little bitty Ziploc baggies are not the <laughs> easiest to get in and out of. Yeah, not so, really. do this right here. Take this. Just set it right there. Okay? Like that. The baggie over here. Next, we need the clip. Okay? And the clip's just the... So, what we'll do clip. is... There's the clip. There's the clip. So, we'll move this. <laughs> we'll remove this piece here. And you'll put this cap through the clip. And then, and then into the end of the pin, Okay? So what we gotta do is relieve the pressure off of it. Okay, track that. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take this bushing. We don't want to lose it, so we're gonna set that bushing right there since we're doing another pin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. So we make sure we keep this lined up because remember we want the pin to go this direction. Because remember our lines for. Mm -hmm. Matching the blank up was there. So we take this off. Better work. Okay. So now we have this part of the pen and we push the. Like you're clicking a pen? Yeah. Kind of. So you get it lined up the best you can and just kind of push it like that. See how it doesn't really want to go? Mm -hmm. That's why daddy uses this. But so you have to kind of do there. it carefully, yep. though. You go real easy. So you don't bust it. Yep. Uh-oh. It'll line up, okay? Okay. See how the clip is done now? There's the clip part. Uh -huh. Okay? Awesome. So now, we're going to set this like that. Alright? Because that's where it goes. Pull the next bushing off. Okay. And then get so the, the next... band. We need the... the... Yep. Yeah. We need this piece here next, okay? Yep. Now the way this piece here works, see down in there, there's threads. So the pin goes this direction. So that way this goes in there and it threads into it, okay? okay. But we don't want to thread that in yet. Do we need this? In a minute. Now you see how there's a little groove right there in the center? Yeah. We want that groove to line up so that this is sticking into the pin like that right there okay so the way we're doing it is we pull this off and I need it in this end okay so we put this in there line it up okay. no nope. we just try to push with our hand first to get it a little bit lined up and then we go real slow with the clamp because you don't want to go too far in okay yep you just want to get the groove in there yep and then so we put our pressure on it, and we go real slow. See how it kind of pops in there? Still going? Mm -hmm. Nope, the groove. See the groove? And right the there. The groove is gone. As soon as the groove disappears, we are done. Okay? No farther so than So then, that. we can put this in here. Make sure we have a, that tightened in there. Then you bring this part up here, and now is where we look to try to match our grains up, and right there is where the grain matches up, okay? So we put those two together, oops, hold on. You just caught me, didn't you? <laughs> I need that piece out of that baggie. The center band. I told you we need the center band. Yep. I got ahead of myself, didn't I? Yeah. So. He was just super excited to get the pen together. 
Yeah. And this is the cap. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Now, see how we got the grain lined up a lot better? Mm -hmm. All right. So now all we need is that. I always like to retract the pin. Then all we got to do is put this. Wait, where's the sleeve, Dad? What sleeve? Right there. It's in there already. It's in there. It is? Yeah. Yep. Ah. Okay. So now then, we just push. And then carefully clamp. If you can't get it to go in there, carefully use a clamp. Yeah. They make a uh, pin press, but I do not own one yet. The keyword, yet. <laughs> yeah. So. How far do you have to push it in? All the way until it seats up against the wood. Because if it doesn't seat up against the wood, yep. then it, um, it probably won't work right. Okay, so there we go. Everything's seated. And then we test our pin. Yep, gotta test it to make sure it Comes works. Comes out, goes back. All right. And Taylor, there's your finished pin. There's your finished Christmas gift for somebody. Yep. Can you hold it up for the camera so they can see it? Let's see. Let's hold it. Kind of like this right here. So, there you go. There's the finished product. All right. Taylor's got her pen done. We'll do part two for Michaela's uh, pen. So, hope everybody enjoys the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share on social media with all your family and friends. And we'll see you tomorrow.